Double-click Clarity 3D Workbench.exe to launch Clarity 3D Workbench. Select New from the File menu. A new project unnamed is opened. Let us save this project as Patch Antenna. To do this, click the Save As button on the toolbar. Type Patch Underscore Antenna in the file name text box and click Save. Now, let us define the parameters that will be used to specify the size and dimensions of various parts. To do this, select Parameters from the Edit menu. The Parameters dialog box is displayed. Right-click on the Parameters dialog box and select Add from the Context menu. The Add Parameter dialog box is displayed. Here, you can add the various properties of the parameter such as the parameter name, parameter unit type, the unit of measurement, the parameter value, and description. Let us add a length parameter TCU with a unit as MIL and the value as minus 1.4, with a description as 10Z of copper. To do this, type TCU in the name field, select MIL from the unit drop-down list, and specify minus 1.4 in the expression field. In addition, type 10Z of copper in the description field. The parameter is added in the parameters window. Similarly, add other parameters shown in the parameters window. When done, click OK. Now, let us create the design of the patch antenna. First, let us create a substrate layer. To do this, select Create Box from the Parts menu. Click on three different points on the 3D Modeler window to define the base and height of the box, as shown on the screen. Note that the box is also added under Parts on the Project window. Let us change the name of the box to Sub. The general properties of the box are displayed on the Property window. Select Box in the Name field to change its name to Sub and press the Enter key. Click the plus icon before Sub on the Project window and select Create Box. The Position and Dimension properties of the box are displayed in the Property window. Change the position and dimension properties of the box, as shown on the screen. a substrate layer is created. Similarly, create four more boxes with the properties shown on the screen. Once you have defined the parts patch, feed line, inset primitive, and ground, the design will look as shown in the screen. Now, let us create a copy of the part inset primitive. To do this select inset underscore primitive on the project window and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V on the keyboard. A copy of the part named inset underscore primitive one is created on the project window. Now, let us change the properties of the part inset underscore primitive one. To do this, click the plus icon next to the part. Select create box. The position and dimension properties of the part are displayed on the property window. Here, change the X position and X size values to negative. Now, press the control key on the keyboard and select patch, inset underscore primitive, and inset underscore primitive one on the project window. Select boolean subtract from the modeler menu. The subtract dialog box is displayed. In the subtract dialog box, the tool parts section lists the parts that need to be subtracted from the parts listed in the blank parts section. So, here the inset underscore primitive and inset underscore primitive one parts will be subtracted from the part patch. Click OK. The inset fed patch antenna has been created and the boolean subtract operation is added in the project window.